be a part of busy town. Oh. We'll keep your spirits soaring while we're exploring our busy world. The Busy World of Richard Scary. Hello, Huckle and Lowly. What brings you to here? We'd like to join the fire department, sir. Firefighting's a tough job, Huckle. Are you sure you're up to it? We just want to help out, Chief. Please, sir. Well, I suppose one day won't hurt, but you'll have to have the right equipment. Squirty, Smokey. Right, right away, away, Chief. Regulation firefighting boots. And here are your helmets, boys. Thanks, Nozzle. Now you're ready for the job. Did you hear that, Lowly? We get to be firefighters! Busy Town Fire Department, Chief speaking. Our first call, Lily. Quick, door. Help. Help. Yes, Hilda, immediately. We're on our way. Let's roll! <laughs> This way, I lost my skating medal in the sewer. Gently, please be careful. No, no, more to the right. Don't worry, Hilda. We handle cases like this all the time. Hmm. Hmm. I'll just die. <laughs> Don't worry, Hilda. I'll get it. Geronimo! Look, Hilda. Lowly rescued your medal. Oh, you brave firefighter saved my roller skating silver medal. All in a day's work, Hilda. Oh, thank you, Lowly. <laughs> this is great. Who can we help next? Let's go, firefighters. It's a busy day. Move out. Come on, Lowly. On to the next call. you down. Please don't ask me to move. I'm really scared. Relax, Dennis. You'll be down soon. I can't come down, Squirty. I'm stuck. Tell my parents this is my room now. Wow! This is even better than rescuing Hilda's roller skating medal. And less painful. Dennis, the branches up here are not very sturdy. You can come down. Don't be scared. Well, okay. I think I can. I think I can. Maybe I can. Whoa! Wow! <clears throat> wow, our second rescue. But do you think we'll ever get to put out a fire? All in good time, Huckle. I wonder who parked my car right under that branch. Oh, well. <gasps> uh oh! 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 Oh, my. I guess I'll need some help with that branch. Morning, Mr. Frumble. Need some help? I guess I'd better find a safer place to park my car. Oh, 
dear. Oh, my. Oh, no. Sorry about your car, Mr. Frumble. Thank you. I'll just walk home. Oh, no. Smoke! It's a huge fire. Fire? Where's the alarm? <gasps> Come on, Lolly. It could be a fire. I'm too tired to move. No one said the life of a firefighter was easy. Let's roll. This is a real fire. We better stay out of the way. That's the best idea you've had all day. Ready for the water, Smokey? <gasps> no, wait. Cut the water. I said, cut the water! Oh! Oh! Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Excuse me, but aren't barbecues allowed in busy town? We're sorry, but we were called to put out a fire. That was out of control. We didn't know it was your barbecue. I wonder who could have thought this was an out of control fire. Thanks for having the special barbecue for us, Chief. It's the least we could do after ruining your supper. Wasn't this a great day, Loli? Huh? Come on, Loli. A firefighter's job is never done. Imagine that. I can't get rid of the dirt specks on this piece of paper. Those aren't dirt specks. They're wood specks. Well, paper is made from wood, and wood it comes from trees. So the trees have to be harvested. Timber means step back, please. The trees are brought to the paper mill by water or on truck. And then they're cut into smaller logs. How do they do it? A great big sun. They take off the bark and grind them into mulch, and the mulch is called wood pulp. Then the pulp is washed and beaten in the paste, and the clean white paste is all shook up. Now it sticks together in the sheet. Then it's rolled and squashed and dried. Then it's rolled and dried and squashed more. And the big rolls of paper cut to any size. Like drawn paper or newspaper. Or the kind of paper you find in a book or a magazine. Whoops, then I need another piece of paper. Uh, I mean wood. <laughs> Mexico, land of beautiful music, colorful flowers, great big hats, <coughs> and playful little boys with big imaginations. This is Manuel. Sometimes he pretends his friend Pedro is a spy. Sometimes Manuel imagines his mother's vegetable garden is a jungle. And sometimes, he even pretends his mother is a pirate. Manuel! What am I going to do with such a boy? But the pot looks like a treasure chest, doesn't it? Manuel, you have such an imagination. But sometimes a pot is just a pot. And now ours is broken. Please, go to the marketplace and buy a new one. Oh, boy! I love the marketplace. Come, Pedro. This will be a great adventure. Remember, Manuel, it is a marketplace, not a pirate ship. My mother was right. It is not a pirate ship. It is a den of thieves. Look, I see a thief! 
thief! Come now, Manuel. He didn't steal a thing. See, si, but he would have if I hadn't have been watching him. Oh, good morning, Manuel. Pedro? Buenos dias, Senor Tiger. We are on the trail of a thief. And do not forget, we are also on the trail of a pot for your mother. Ah, I have just the pot. Look, what did I tell you? That man is a thief. He does not look much like a thief. That's because he is a clever thief. Oh, of course, Manuel. I will keep a sharp eye on your villain. Come, Pedro. We must track him down. Manuel, why are you following footprints when the fox is right over there? Because a real detective follows clues that lead him to the villain. Well, detective work has made me hungry. Can we get a bite to eat? Yes, we can pretend to eat, but we will be really watching the thief. Manuel, the pot! I got it! I got it! Yeah. Thank you, Pedro. It is difficult to watch a thief and guard the pot at the same time. Psst, Manuel, why are you hiding behind a menu? Shh. I am not hiding. I am spying. Let us order a tamale. Stop! Thief! <gasps> stole a tortilla from you. Manuel, you are the one who has caused me trouble with my tortillas. I am sorry, Senor Lynx. I was only trying to help you. It is all right, Manuel. You boys run along. Be careful with that pot. You cannot catch thieves on an empty stomach. Thank you. Wow. Hurry, before it gets away! The thief! Quickly, before he sees us! Look, he stole a hat! Did you see? No, I can't see. I am having hat trouble of my own. He is coming this way! What is going on? Ah, Manuel, what are you today? A soldier? A famous explorer? Those are pretend things. Now I am a real detective. Luckily, shoes do not break like pots. You must be more careful with this. Thanks, Mr. Armadillo. Come on, Pedro. Could we not go home now, Manuel? I know we are going to break the pot. No, we haven't caught our thief yet. Can you see what he is doing, Pedro? <laughs> He's looking at a fishing rod. He's stealing it! We must capture this thief before he gets away. I think we should go home before this pot breaks. Manuel, please. I just know a great disaster is going to happen to that pot. Pedro, what could possibly happen to the pot? Yeah! My mother's pot! Huh? What's going on? Manuel, what have you done now? Who is this? Pedro and I have got the greatest thief in all Mexico. Manuel, you really are a great detective. Yes, and you are a real thief. Bravo, Manuel. I do not think your mother will say bravo. Do not worry. I have a reward for the best detective in Mexico. Manuel. What a big pot! It is a reward! I caught the greatest thief in all Mexico! Oh, Manuel, not more stories. Oh, no! The pot! <clears throat> Play it safe! Come on! Dad's gonna 
to show us how to make breakfast in the kitchen. Whoa! It can be dangerous in there. Let me tell you the story of a chef brave and true. When he goes in the kitchen, he knows what to do. The kitchen has dangers if that's where you're bound. If you're smart like our hero, you'll be safe and sound. He's careful near the oven and places too hot. And he'll always use a glove to touch the handle of a pot. Now fork, spoons, and dishes are okay to touch. But he asks for help with sharp knives and such. If he needs something high, he won't climb on a chair. He'll call someone taller to reach things up there. Our chef brave and true cooks with somebody grown. Cause the kitchen's much safer when he's not alone. Morning, Hacko. We made everyone breakfast. With a little help from our friend. Fish for breakfast, and now it's lunch time. Lunch? Uh, where's lunch? Don't feel bad. We're not having any luck either. We're having luck, Huckle. It's just all bad. I'm not giving up, boys. Lunch is somewhere out there. <laughs> we just have to reel it in. Huh? Uh, good morning. Hello down there. Wow. Let's go see where he lands. We're not catching anything here anyway. Well, maybe we can catch a ride in the balloon. Your balloon's sure a lot bigger than the ones we get at the fair, Mr. Von Flugel. Would you boys like to take a look inside? Could we? That would be great. Thanks, Mr. Von Flugel. You boys should see the view from up there. Uh, no thanks. I'm an earthworm. I'm afraid of heights. What's that, Mr. Von Flugel? What is that? That's the ripcord. When you pull it, the oh! gas in the balloon goes out. And the balloon goes down. If you want the balloon to go up, you untie a sandbag and drop it. Then the basket is lighter. Could we go up with you, Mr. Von Flugel? Sure, why not? Everything's ready. Ah, everything that is, except for the picnic. That's why I came back here. Just wait here while I get the picnic basket. Look, we're flying! Mm. Ah, here it is. How silly of me. Oh, no. When I got out of the basket, I forgot to tie down the anchor. I've got to help them. <laughs> Nothing like a shiny, clean motorcycle to kick off the day. Hi, Sergeant Murphy! <laughs> Look at that. Huckle and Lowly floating by in a balloon. Huckle and Lowly in a balloon? <gasps> Huckle and Lowly are in a runaway balloon. Don't worry, I'll save them. Hurry, Sergeant Murphy. <laughs> a sandbag. That's okay. We still have lots more of those. Nothing to worry about. If this keeps up, we'll never get down. Mom! Dad! Look at us! Oh, look. Isn't that nice? Rudolph's taking Huckle and Lowly ballooning. Hi, Rudolph. It's nice of you to take the boys but, but if you were down here, then who's up there? Isn't there any way to get the boys down? Yeah, the ripcord. They must pull the ripcord. Don't worry. I'll get them down. Come with me. The ripcord! Oh, pull oh, the oh, ripcord! Oh, don't, don't lean over Look, they're waving to us. I think they want us to come down. Pull the ripcord, Huckle. That'll do it. That's what I call a ripcord. Isn't Busy Bee beautiful? 
And isn't it big? Take us back up. Be careful, Lily. If I were careful, we wouldn't be up here in the first place. Lily, uh, are you putting on weight? No, I don't think. Ah! Lily! What do I look like? Dinner? catch a fish if it landed in our laps. Betty! Wolfgang! Catch something? No! It caught me! Help! Help! Yeah. Help! Help us! Are you okay, Loli? A little bent. But nothing I can't straighten out. Huckle, lowly. Are you boys all right? All right. We're great. Great? Why, you boys are the best balloonists ever. And you three are the best fishermen ever. Not really. Just the wettest. And the hungriest ever. <laughs> Not anymore. Food. Wow! Show. 